Hey everybody, welcome back to Without Code, my name is Ashton. With the new release of our Gallery Connect widget here, along with other widgets that require image hosting, including specific direct links to said images, I'm here today to answer a couple of very frequently asked questions. Where can I host my images, and how can I get a proper image link from said hosting service? They're both great questions, and we're going to explore some options for how to do this right now. Let me start with where can I host my images? Since you're building a site in the Without Code Builder, hosting images on your own site is a solid and recommended route. Let me click over here on our left on our Content tab. And we'll click into Site Content. And finally, Manage Images. Then we can click to Upload Images. And here you'll be prompted with your finder window where you can upload one or many images all at the same time, which will be added directly into your pool of content right here. Now, once it's loaded in here and you're ready to grab the direct link for any image here in your bin, click on the image to select it. And then over here on the right, we're going to right click on the image name and then select copy link address. And that's it. And just to test out that we have the proper link, I can open a new browser tab and paste the link inside the URL bar. And we get a full screen view of the image and nothing else, which means we've acquired the proper link to this image hosted on your very own without code site. But perhaps you already have the images hosted somewhere else. And if even just for storage or backup, then there's really no need to have to re-upload everything anywhere. So most people are already affiliated with some type of storage service anyway, and you can utilize those services just as easily. If you back things up, perhaps to a cloud-based storage service like Dropbox or Google Drive, if you do, that's great. You can utilize those types of services as your image and video hosting for widgets on your site. If you're into photography, you might use services like SmugMug or 500 Pixels or PhotoDeck, and these are also great sources for hosting images. And perhaps you already have your images hosted there now. And if you're like most people and utilize social media on a regular basis, you might have your images, for example, in use in photo albums on Facebook, which can also be leveraged for image hosting. If your images are entirely offline and you're looking to host them on a new platform, we would generally suggest services that specialize in hosting large volumes, such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Bottom line is, wherever you have an image online, as long as you can access a direct link for the image, you're all set. So the next question is, where can I get my image link? Well, this will vary from service to service, and most services are not going to make it super easy to just grab a direct image link, but you can almost always find a proper link somewhere. Now, I can't cover the details for each and every service out there, but we'll hit a few of the big ones. If I don't mention your hosting service, you should definitely be able to apply the techniques I cover here in order to get a hold of the direct links. One technique is something called copy image address, and it's definitely the most common method. Now, in general, the most reliable method of grabbing a hosted images direct link is to use the copy image address command. And this is a function of the browser and is generally accessed with a right click. The actual wording might vary from browser to browser, but we'll stick with Chrome for right now. So let's try this on a few services. I'm going to switch over here to unsplash.com and we'll scroll down and literally pick any image. And if I right click on it and select copy image address, that's it. I can paste that into a new browser tab and our image is directly linked like so. Let me jump over to Smug Mug and I'll scroll down here to stories and select one of these photographers here. Scrolling down again, I can click to his direct website, which is hosted on the Smug Mug platform. And just like Unsplash, we'll right click on any photo in the portfolio here and select copy image address. And that's it. And remember, anytime you grab an image link, you can always verify that it's a direct link by pasting it into a new browser address bar. You should see the image show up in the browser and nothing else. Now let's talk about another method, finding the link in the share code. Now this one is a bit tougher. Some services might discourage the access to downloading or acquiring direct links to images that are copyrighted by a photographer. And of course, these techniques I'm teaching you are meant to be used on your own copyrighted material. But if you try a service that doesn't allow you to copy the image address when you right click, try their share function. Let me jump over here to 500 pixels. And let me click up here to discover and then popular photos. Now we can click on any of these images to enter a full page for the image. Now if I right click, I get a warning saying the image is copyrighted. So our first method is not going to work here. But what we can do is click the three dots icon down here and select share. 
and then we'll select the embed option. And when we do this, generally the direct link is within the embed code. So let me copy the embed code and we can pull up any text editor and paste the code. And in this case, we can see here that the first URL they give us is the direct link to the image right here after image source. So we'll copy everything inside the quotes, starting with the HTTPS and ending after this string of numbers right before the closing quote. We'll paste this in a new browser window just to verify. And there we go. We got it. Remember, this technique is intended for your own material, so please don't use copyrighted images that are not your own. Before we close out, I do want to talk about Dropbox, definitely a super common cloud storage service. Tons of people use Dropbox for storage of photos and much more. It's a great service for storage, but there's a trick to getting an image's direct link. I'm going to pull up my finder window here where I already have Dropbox set up. And I have a single image here in a demo folder. And we see this green check mark here, which means that it's already synced up with my Dropbox account. Now, if I were to right click on this file and select copy Dropbox link, and then if I paste it into a new browser tab, you can see that the image opens in the browser, but it's opened within this kind of interface that Dropbox has placed around the image, meaning that this link is not the direct link to the image that we're looking for. But there is a little trick that we can use here. If we take the same URL and we modify it, we can see at the end here this DL equals zero at the end of the URL. And if we change this to say raw equals one, and now let me select the URL and recopy it, and if we hit enter, just like that. Now we've got our direct link to our image hosted in Dropbox. So thanks again for watching this video, everybody. At the end of the day, just remember that you can get direct image links from most any hosting service. Start by trying the copy image address method. If that fails, grab the share code and look for a direct link in the embed code somewhere. And if you're really stuck, Google a solution for acquiring an image's direct link based on the hosting platform. If you have any other issues, questions, or comments, don't hesitate to reach out to us and support. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.